Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In this video, we're talking about the best and the worst products from NYX. So if you are curious about that, please keep on watching. Okay, so NYX is one of my favorite brands, if not my favorite drugstore brand or my favorite brand in general, for sure is the brand where I have tested the most products from. I tested something in each category, some products I absolutely love, some not so much. So let's start in order of application with primer. NYX is offering for some reason in most categories a lot of products. They should just just minimize a bit the, the range of products. They have so many primers, for example, in a way that is pretty good because you probably will find something for you, but as well, they have way too many. So I didn't test all of them, of course, because they are way too many, but from what I have tested, this is my favorite one. This is the Marshmallow Primer. And I like this one because it is hydrating and it feels really nice and foundations look pretty good on top of this one. So in the primer category, I wouldn't say that NYX is my first place to go. I just prefer Essence a bit for that because they are a bit more um, inexpensive and they are still good products. For foundation, I really love this one. This is the Born to Glow from NYX. This is a natural finish foundation. It is liquidy, so it's easy to spread, sinks into the skin pretty good, and it looks pretty natural. So this is this is the favorite from NYX for sure. I love it. I am the shade Vanilla, and it's so natural and so beautiful on the skin. And they did release the Blur foundation. I didn't taste it because it's still not available in here. It's been like eight months or even more. So I was waiting for that foundation to film this video, but I got bored. So we will test that foundation when it will be available here in Romania. But right now it's not. I think it's out of stock or they have some stock problem. Right now I am happy with this one. It's really good and it's still on stock because usually NYX has a problem. <laughs> they are just discontinuing products that are so good and sometimes that is a big problem. I do have a ranking of NYX products on my channel. It's two years uh, old and in that I had some older products so I want to update the list a bit. Next, concealer. They do have some correctors and some other concealer that can stop on stop. I didn't test that one and they have some correctors as well. I'm sure that they are decent, but my top concealer, and I love this one, is, this is my second one. This is the NYX and the foundation. This is my second one and the primer. I got this one from a friend, but I had it previous, previously, so I love these ones. This is the Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I, I hope they are not discontinuing this one in the near future because they had the other one, the Born to Glow concealer that it was in the same line with this one. And that one was so good as well and they did discontinue it. It is what it is, but this one is really lovely as well. It has a pump, it's glowy and beautiful and I love it as a foundation as well. It's nice, it's really nice. Let's move into powder. And I know that they have some, they have the Can't Stop One Stop Powder, but that one is like a foundation or at least it has coverage, it's foundation type of powder. That is not my journey. I don't want that. I like this one though. This is the HT Finishing Powder. It's nice under the eyes, but it's not my favorite one. I prefer this one for the rest of the face. For the, for the under eyes, I just like a loose powder. It is what it is. So. This is not my top powder in my collection, but I do like it for the exterior of the face. And if you do like a pressed powder under the eyes, I think you will like this one because it is a pretty good powder overall. For bronzer, I don't have anything from NYX. Nothing got my eyes, so I didn't buy any bronzer from them. They have a pretty weird chic collection in my opinion because they have some powder ones, but they are not my favorite ones. They have some cream, the ones in the stick. I heard some mixed reviews about them. So I think NYX should just remove some cheek products from their line. 
I think they should do cream bronzers in a pan because I could see them succeeding at that and they should have some blushes newer formulas because they have some uh, they have some of these but I think they are discontinuing these because these are the shimmery ones and this one is so beautiful I really like it but I think they are discontinuing them and they have just matte ones that are not really my type because I like a shimmery cheek they have the sweet cheeks cream blush that one was not my favorite I will put a picture with it in here that was okay but not my favorite formula overall so they they should do some bronzers some blushes some highlighters because i think they are missing a bit in that regard so for cheek products i wouldn't go to nyx as top priority but recently i purchased the barbie trio and this one looks pretty nice again not my absolute favorite product in my collection but it's it's kind of nice it has two matte um, blushes this one has a bit of shimmer in there but it's not shimmery on the cheeks but i like the trio one it's orangey peachy shade one is bright pink but it's really these two are really nice so i am happy with this the highlighter is nice i like the shade of it a lot but it's a bit um, glittery that is not what i love the most but I like the three overall so I do recommend this product but like I said they need to improve on the cheek category and lastly I have a highlighter from them I have the born to glow liquid illuminator and this one is pretty easy to use I use this one exactly the same as I use my Charlotte Tilbury one I just put a bit of product on the cheek and blend it immediately with my finger and move to the other cheek and that way it looks pretty nice so this one is nice, but as well, like I mentioned, they need to improve the cheek category. In my opinion, NYX is doing pretty good base products, so foundation and concealer, and then they are doing amazing lip products and pretty good brow products. For the rest of categories, I could see them improving a bit. That would be amazing. So let's talk about brows. In here, my favorite brow pencil is from NYX. This is the eyebrow powder pencil and I have it in shade taupe I really like a sharpenable brow product it's affordable and really good then I have the NYX lift and snatch if you want that type of pen to create brow hairs this is the best one I recommend it it is from the drugstore it's great so NYX doing brow pretty good my favorite brow gel is actually from Too Faced. I did test some brow gels from NYX, but they are not my absolute favorite ones. I know that they are getting all the hype, but not my favorite ones. So first of all, we have the NYX Stick It Stick It. It's a pretty good product. I don't want to say that it is a fail because it's not. It's just not for me. It is a pigmented product, but the applicator is a bit too big in my opinion so it's good but not my favorite and the other one that i tested is the um, brow glue and they did release some um, colorful ones some some with color i would like to test that but with this product it's it was just too heavy for my brow hairs so if you have very thick brows this product i am sure that it will be amazing for you but for me it was not i would be curious to test the control freak or something like that brow gel maybe that is for me i don't know i could see myself testing that in the future but I've, i don't understand why do they need that many brow gels just do one or maximum two they have a bunch of brow products they have powder powder in a pot powder in pencil powder they have way too many they need to have just two pencils two brow gels and one of these and it would be for thin enough let's move into some eye products i want to mention first this one this is the ultimate shadow and liner base this one is pretty nice 
it's like a 7 or 8 in my eyes. I prefer the Sigma eyeshadow base, so it's not beating that. The problem that I had with it is that it doesn't have a lot of pigment, so I need to cover a bit my veins first and then apply, apply some shadows but if you use concealer and a bit of that on top it should work or if you don't have a lot of veins or on your eyes or you don't mind them uh, it's it is a pretty good base overall then i have these two these are the epic wear liner sticks and this i use these two i use in general for my waterline so i do recommend them and they have a bunch of shades so that is a plus then i have some liquid liners i have this one that is the epic ink liner a very known formula this is pretty good i have it in brown this is actually an empty it's a bit too too dry right now but it is a good one for a black i prefer the physician's formula one but again it is a pretty nice one and then i tested recently the Vi vivid brights from nyx and they improved this formula a lot so this updated formula is great and I have it in sneaky pink and it is a bit hard to apply but it's nice and you can of course use another brush if that is easier for you for me for sure it is so I don't think I'm gonna use this applicator but it's a good product then they have this one it's a popular product It's the jumbo eye pencil I have it in yogurt uh, this is not for me. It's I don't buy this one. It's not. It's not a favorite product for me for sure. It's just so lackluster. I know that the white one is very popular. Maybe that one is better, but this one is not not shimmery enough. Not you can use any shadow and it's more impressive than this one. It looks like this not very shiny it's and it creases if you want to apply this all over your lid it's creasing so you need to apply base you need to set it it's not that easy and simple um, it's not a one shadow look so this is a fail in my opinion i forgot to mention as primer this one this is my favorite one this is the nyx glitter primer and this is so great i really like it you apply a really small amount and then you put any shimmer on top and it's lovely then they have these eye paints these are pretty good not my favorite product if you use this type of product a lot sure it is a pretty good formula but i'm not using this enough i learned that about myself because i have one from about face i had one from danis and myricks and they went bad and i didn't use them that much so i'm sure that <laughs> i will do the same with these ones I'm using normal eyeshadows a lot more than this kind, this kind of product. And let's talk about an actual eyeshadow. I have this palette. I had previously some other palettes some years ago. NYX is doing pretty good eyeshadows overall. The, this packaging is so clunky and horrible. And this eyeshadow palette is not that cheap. So they need to do some cardboard. Because like I said, this is not cheap. And this packaging is awful so this palette i really really like the color story and the mattes in here are pretty good i was kind of impressed with the mattes the problem that i have is with the shimmers because they are a bit too flaky you can you, you need not that you can you need a um, glitter primer for these because they are very flaky and you will get fallout everywhere so you kind of need some um, a setting spray to spray your brush and some glitter primer but otherwise this palette is pretty pretty beautiful i i like it and the mattes are like i said pretty impressive let's move into lips finally and in here like i said this is my favorite category when it comes to nyx let's start though with some fails because <laughs> i want to get those out of the way so first of all i tested this one this is the shine loud lip thingy you need to apply the color first and then put the gloss on top this is horrible in my opinion it's longer lasting yes sure but it's so so sticky and horrible because uh, you need to apply you need to apply a thin layer and 
don't move your lips because otherwise it will look absolutely horrendous, patchy and ugly. And then uh, you need to apply the gloss and uh, the gloss is wearing out pretty fast and you need to reapply, reapply, reapply. And of course, at some point you will run out of gloss and then what you are gonna do because the color itself doesn't work without the gloss. So th this is not, they have a bunch of shades. This is pretty popular, but not for me. I hated it. And then I tested this one. This is the Powder Puff Lippy Lip Cream. And this is not the worst product, but it's way too creamy in my opinion. Too, too shiny. It was like a glossy, gloss product with a color, but very smeary. Not, not for me, really, not for me. I prefer something a bit more. If I want a lipstick, I prefer it a bit more matte. And if I want a gloss, I prefer it a bit more thick, so it's not running everywhere so these are the two products from lips that not not my favorite and i tested the lip oil as well that is no that is a big no the one in a pink tube no 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 that is horrible as well is doing practically nothing so let's start with lip liner with a product that i actually like the um, they have three formulas of lip lip liners if i'm not if i'm not wrong the first one is a bit stiffer they all all three are really good but depending on what you like they have something for you the first one is the normal lip pencil formula that is a bit stiff then we have the suede matte lip liner this is in the middle i like this one it's really good the the normal one is a bit too stiff for me and this one is i like another one more this is a pretty good one. So just swatch them and uh, see the shade that you want and see the formula that you want. They have really good lip liners, really good. And my favorite one is the Line Leo. This is, they are all sharpenable pencil, which I adore. My favorite type of formula is sharpenable pencils. And these ones apply very easily, creamy, and they are sitting down and they look incredible. This is my favorite formula of lip liners from NYX and in general this is one of my favorites. I really like it. Then I have the normal soft matte lip. Oh my god, I was... <laughs> I almost hit my face with these and dropping them at the same time. So this is the soft matte lip cream. I have the shade Abu Dhabi in here and Sao Paulo. These are the two remaining colors that I have. This is a pretty basic formula but a pretty good one. If you want something comfortable and pretty lightweight they have a bunch of shades and this is pretty good so i really like it recently they did release another formula that i like even more and that is the smooth whip formula this is a bit more moussey and a bit more uh, matte i know moussey and matte doesn't work together technically but hear me out this is smoothing and is drying a bit on the matte side i love love both of these and these two shades are unique shades this is a beautiful brown and this is a more wearable red and this packaging is pretty nice and i love i love both of them let's talk about glosses next so like i said lip oil no don't buy that it's a bit affordable but it's horrible useless I have three glosses in here to mention. First of all, this is my favorite one from the three. This is the This is Milky Gloss in Salted Caramel. I like this one because it has a milkier color, like the name is saying. It's a beautiful neutral shade. I have it on my lips, but I have a bunch of things on my lips right now. I will list everything that I have on my face in the description box. This is the formula that I really like, a thicker gloss that is not smearing all over my face and this one is it i love it and then i have two other glosses that are still pretty good they released this one this is the fat lip oil this is a million times better this is an actual hydrating product this is in i don't see the shade my main that is the name is the clear one this is pretty good i i like it i don't like it better than my sigma one but this is a lot more affordable and this is a pretty good one so i do recommend the fat oil and they do have different shades so 
this is a pretty good one overall and as well the this is juice gloss I, again i don't know why they need that many glosses but sure they are different so at least that is that i have the red one why i don't know because i like a clear or a more neutral shade when it comes to glosses but this is a pretty good and beautiful shade this is pomegranate cloud this is in my project pen i didn't think that this would be a formula that i like but it's nice like the name is saying it makes your lips look very juicy very shiny and this red colors is just looks so natural natural i really really like this one as well so like i said nyx is doing amazing lip products so if you want something from the drugstore store for lips anything lip liner lipstick lip gloss anything you will find probably something for you in the nyx store so this was everything i really like nyx as i said but my top products are for sure the lip products the foundation and concealer combo and the brow the brow products these are for sure my favorite from nyx so if you like this video and you want to see more from me please subscribe and give it a like and i will see you next time